changes to the brakes, suspension, dash, ergonomics, frame, engine, seat, controls, styling, lighting, and handle need to be addressed in order to discuss why the spike is so different. The outgoing 390 Duke was introduced internationally in 2013 but we didn't see it hit American shores until 2015. I rode that original bike for nearly three weeks straight upon its release, which resulted in a full ride review for Common Dread. KTM has pursued perfection with this new machine by sounding down and polishing all of the rough edges of that original motorcycle. If I had to sum up the new bike in one word it would be refined. KTM tackled the update of this baby beast by addressing all of the small problems plaguing the old bike, one by one, until they ended up with the new 2017 KTM 390 Duke. In order to give the new bike a spin, I headed to Turin. Italy for the international press launch. While our time with the new bike was limited, we got a chance to try it out in a variety of environments, including riding laps on the historic rooftop testing track of the old Fiat factory, battling city traffic on our way to lunch, and then heading out for a quick romp through the foothills of the snow-capped Alps. KTM packed a decent ride into our